And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. May 5th, 1865, 148 years ago, the day law and order went off the rails. For it was on a rail line west of Cincinnati that day that a train was robbed by an armed gang, possibly die-hard Confederate guerrillas unbowed by the South's recent surrender. While everything was wild with confusion, one newspaper reported, the desperados entered and with the vilest oaths demanded the money and valuables of the passengers. The first train robbery in the United States, by some reckonings, was hardly the last. Over the next few decades, lawmen scrambled to capture a succession of train robbers, such as the notorious Jesse James, even as the gunman's daring deeds captured the public imagination. The crime wave inspired the landmark 1903 film, The Great Train Robbery. Well, that ought to do it. Well, many years later, in 1969, Paul Newman and Robert Redford portrayed the exploits of the robbers known as Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Thank you, enough dynamite there, Butch. And though the days of armed passenger train robberies are behind us, freight train theft remains a problem. In 1995, Scott Pelley showed us night scope footage of thieves at work in the deserts of the Southwest. This night, the train stops. Police say the figures are running away with TVs. And just last fall, Atlanta police investigated the theft of roughly 100 guns from a parked freight car. An FBI estimate puts cargo thefts from ports, trucking, and rail at as much as $30 billion a year. And though a figure strictly for freight train theft is hard to come by, Jesse James' descendants are no doubt getting their share. Hey!